Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. It is a gloomy Sunday morning slash afternoon at this point here in Manchester and I thought I would do a bit of a self-care vlog. If you can't tell, I've been a bit sick the last like week and a half kind of thing. Only with a cold, nothing serious, but like it just won't go away. Like it literally is just coming back every time I feel better. So today is the first day that I feel like I'm a bit better able to do stuff get out of the house so I thought I would do a kind of self-care day just to bring me back to life because I've barely left the house in the last week and a half it's ridiculous because of that I've not really been looking after myself like I've not been in my skincare I've not gone on walks I've not looked like eaten well I've literally just been in like a I'm sick don't talk to me kind of slump and I need to get out of that so we're gonna go for a nice dog walk this morning I say this morning it's probably about 11 o'clock in the morning at the moment so nearly afternoon and then I thought I would go to a kind of independent record shop in a little town village place near me. So I saw a really cute hack on TikTok about making like old vinyls into like bowls and stuff. So I thought that would be a really cute activity because one of the things I do for self care is just really creative stuff. Like I spent so many years of my life thinking I'm not creative at all. I can't draw, I can't do art, like any form of artwork, anything like that. I'm just useless at. But I've realised now that you don't have to be good at it to do it. I'm also gonna do my hair wash day. So I'm trying to wash my hair only twice a week at the moment, which is why I have this beanie on. I'm gonna just take you through a self-care day together because why not? It's Sunday. Sunday is off a rest and caring about yourself and yeah, chilling out. But I do apologise if I sound a bit sick through this because I'm still not 100%. But anyway, before we get on, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Anna Luisa. So Anna Louise has been the biggest sponsor on my channel since I started. They are incredible. I love them. But I want you to love them as much as I do. I'm wearing a few of their pieces today and I thought I would show you them, tell you the names of them, where you can find them, and give you all the good bits. But more importantly, Anna Louisa is a carbon neutral jewellery brand, which is huge. They are direct to consumer, it cuts out all the middle people and honestly saves you quite a big like a chunk of money. Their prices start at $39, which is really, really good for the quality of jewellery you get. And there is such a huge selection for you to pick from, whether it's for you, whether it's for your best friend, your mum, your sister, any other people in your life. They have something for everyone, which I love. And it means I get to pick the best jewellery pieces as well and share them with all the people I love, which I've really enjoyed doing. I constantly get compliments from my friends about the earrings or the necklaces or the rings I'm wearing. And I'm always like, it's Anna Luisa, let me hook you up. So yeah, I really, really love them and I'm sure you will love them just as much as I do. So please check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to have a little shop with a cheeky little discount as well. And hopefully you find something that you really, really want to love for the rest of your life. And let me know if you do. If you find any good pieces that I haven't already got, please let me know because I'm always looking for more jewellery. I can't get enough. I've got two jewellery boxes at this point just filled to the brim of lovely pieces. Yeah, thank you Anna Louisa. Anyway, we're gonna go on this dog walk now because Archie has been crying his eyes out for the last hour begging to go on a walk. And I will take you with me and we'll go get cozy. I've got a cute little scarf and hopefully we have a good day. which lovely lovely increase at this point i'm hoping it gets better with training but right now there's like day five hair and it's a bit minging but it's here so first thing i do is my brush is absolutely disgusting so we're gonna pretend it's not but i just brush my hair through to make sure that all of the oils and everything are kind of distributed and I don't get, like, I don't know if this hair routine is good. I'm not a hairdresser. I don't know this stuff. But this is what's working for me. And is having my hair to grow and be healthy and just not crispy. So, like, you can see, well, I hope you can see the ends are still good. They need a bit of a cut, to be honest. And they're a bit tangled. But they're not greasy. It's literally just a scalp that's greasy. So, first thing that I do is I take some oil for my ends. I'm using the... Jizu Gizu honey infused hair oil, it's really, really expensive, but if you don't have that, just like any argan oil, um, 
coconut oil, I don't know, or do, and I use quite a lot. Normally I don't use this much, I use like the tiniest drop if I'm doing it every day, which I do. Like every day I'll put a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of my ends just to make them soft, not greasy, but this time use a lot and just distribute it through all of your ends. This does make your hair look a bit minging for me, especially if you use a lot, but obviously we're washing our hair in like soon, so it doesn't really matter. And also if I keep looking over there, it's just because that's where my mirror is. But yeah, put that all through your ends and again, any oil that works for your hair will work. And then I am trying out, I've only had this about a month, the Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care Original Hair Growth Serum. Uh, I got it from Beauty Bay. I think so. It was on sale. So I get loads and I will just go through my scalp with this. So like just on here, just drop down my parting and then I will massage this in, in different sections. But like the main thing is about massaging it into your scalp because that helps with the blood flow apparently. These are all things I've learned like from just watching TikTok. So it might not be the most accurate, but as I said, it's working for me. And again, just do that where you feel it needs to go. And then finally, I use one of the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Foods. Controversial, I absolutely love these. Like I have the banana one at the moment, it smells so good. I've tried the watermelon one, I've tried the papaya one, I've tried like the Shea, 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 I don't know how to say that butter. But I love them. I think I like the banana the best, but the watermelon one is also good. And I think the papaya one is good as well. Just try them out, like, think which one works for you. This one is for dry hair, which is why I'm using this. And I just, like, lather this on. Like, I will just put this all through my hair uh, from top to bottom and leave it on for the next few hours. So this is self-explanatory. Just cake your hair in it. Doesn't matter if it goes on your roots. It doesn't matter if it's your ends. They like literally just put it everywhere possible. But if I just scrape it all back, I need to use a brush I can. Get it out of my face. This, and then I will just claw clip it up. I know it doesn't look amazing, but it's fine. I will show you how I do my claw clip now as well. So I just take it like this. I put my two fingers in between, so like it's just a ponytail, but flick it along the two fingers. Make a kind of circle. Twist. Twist. That makes sense. I think it should make sense. And then I literally just clip this in here. And that will stay like that until I wash it out, which I will show you it washed out later, but it does make your hair feel so soft. Like it's just beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I then wash my brush and when I'm washing my hair, I shampoo my scalp twice with any shampoo that suits. I am using coffee in my shampoo as well. Don't know if that works. I'm just trying everything at this point. But yeah, coffee mixed in my shampoo. Use it twice. And then with conditioner, I just use this one again. So I use the same one that I've left in the mask, but I just quick once over on the ends, not everywhere else. And that's been working for me. So yeah. So we're going to attempt to do these vinyl bowls together. I bought three. Um, I don't know what this is. Million Dollar Memories. It was a pound from a charity shop. Got that one. And then there was two others that I bought from like an independent record shop, which cost me too much money. So these are going to be like the second and third attempts because I spent too much money on records that I will never use. But this one is... <laughs> no idea. And this one again is... No idea. Um, they're quite cute. I did think they'd have cute patterns, <laughs> patterns on the actual like middle of the vinyl. They don't. I just hit myself in the face. But we're going to attempt using a dog bowl. Put the vinyl on top. Put it in the oven for like three minutes. And hopefully it should like fall over. Fall over? Mold over? I don't really know. And then you like poke it into the pattern you want. We're going to give it a go. It might not go well. But we're going to try.
She's so lovely The lighting in here makes me seem really pink and I don't know why. That's that's awful. Maybe we move to the light. Oh, that was overexposed, but I think we're a bit better. Anyway, I thought I'd show you one of the bowls. It looks really, really rubbish when you look at this that way. But I think it's cute, like it's a little bowl. It's just a bit fancier than something else. I say fancier, this, this one actually cost me a pound. But I think it's really cute and I was storing remotes and that in them before, like I just on my coffee table, just putting rubbish in them. Um, and just using them as like a little cute storage, which I think is quite cute. Anyway, do you like my hoodie? It's got corgis on, it's the warmest thing in the world, and I love it. It's not even sponsored, like I literally got this on my own. This is, if you can afford an hoodie, they are very expensive to get like the proper ones. Beautiful, worth every penny. It is a dress, and I am living my best life in an hoodie. But yeah, I thought I'd end the vlog here because my other, my other ending that I tried to do was like 15 minutes long and it was just so pointless of me rambling. So I thought I would do another one. But anyway, I had a really, really chill day today. Like I went to the record shop, did that bit of DIY. I embroidered for a bit, which I videoed and it was from the wrong angle of my face. So I looked like Shrek. So I didn't include that, even though it was cute, but I did a bit of embroidery, which I actually have here. I've only just started. I'm, I've never embroidered before. I am bad at it, but that's that's my start of embroidery. Painted my nails, did loads of little stuff like that, which makes me happy. And then obviously washed my hair, but I haven't styled it. I let it dry naturally, so it's a bit frizzy and all over the place. And I'm gonna have just a really really chill night. I just want to say thank you for watching my vlog. I know I've been really inconsistent, but I have this like I say this every time. But I've had like a a break. A breakthrough I was about to say breakthrough there is a t in that word um <laughs> but I had a breakthrough the other day where I say the other day I literally mean today like I'm just chatting rubbish at this point where I just felt a bit more creative and I am hopefully I know I say this all the time but hopefully gonna just be a bit more consistent because I like vlogging I like having fun with it and I like posting so yeah we're gonna get back to it it's fine but thank you so much for sticking with me watching my videos like watching my channel it really means the world to me even though i'm a small account like it, it genuinely every subscriber means the world so thank you so much but before i go i want to say a huge thanks to anna louisa for sponsoring this video again link is in my description for you to shop now and i'll see you next week bye